Recently, so many people felt unusual behavior from GPT-40 model. Like, if you say, don't you think my project is world best project, then most probably you will get yes answer. It happened because in April, OpenAI released an update that made ChatGPT super sycophatic like uh, it is great for a compliment but terrible for truth answer. So now let's understand what exactly happened. In April 25, they released this update and in 26 April, people show concern about model's behavior and at 28th april openai team confirmed the problem after internal review and with feedback analysis and then they update prompt as an emergency measure to reduce the sycophatic behavior and in april 30 they did complete rollback and we got this blog post in may true to explaining what actually happened their actual goal was to make models default personality to more effective across a variety of a task in this update they focused too much on short-term feedback and did not fully account for how user in interaction with chat gpt evolved over a time as a result chat gpt 4o skewed toward response that were overly supportive in blog they show that uh, they first do pre-training for knowledge language understanding then post training where learn how to interact with user and here they take this pre-trained model and do supervised fine tuning set of ideal response written by human or existing model then run reinforcement learning uh, with reverse signal let's see the model pipeline uh, that i created using html css and javascript so data set is mostly raw collection of text code etc uh, we don't have much of the knowledge about this then they talk about uh, pre-processing you can see in the left corner that filtering synthetic data mixing etc then they in uh, pipeline they explore about the pre-training where qna format long context stage continue pre-training high quality stage knowledge distillation and in post training it includes supervised fine tuning reinforcement learning with human feedback direct preference optimization online offline tuning knowledge distillation then in at last optimization for inference speed and safety and alignment now look at the model evaluation journey it start with offline evaluation then it goes for expert testing and at last safety evaluation in blog they mentioned that uh, in during reinforcement learning it present the language model with prompt and ask it to write response and then it rates it response according to the reverse signal and update the language model to make it more likely to produce higher rated responses and then less likely to produce lower rated responses and this set of reverse signal and the relative weight shapes and behavior we get at the end of the training and they mention that having better and more comprehensive reverse signal produce better model for chat gpt so they always experiment with new signal but each one has its quirks so here the problem was all the offline tests look fine a b test show user like the model and expert only flake vague feeling like something feels off no specific reason to don't publish this model but the biggest blind spot was there was no specific test to catch sycophatic behavior and now they mention that they will add new alpha test phase where the new testing stage for volunteer user to test upcoming models before launch and here vibe check will get more importance which is support to check by human will carry more weightage in this scenario i have one opinion uh, maybe i'm wrong but i think that so as long as the main reverse signal for alignment is which response is better we will keep running into this unintended behavior like this we need more specific and more grounded signal than just better or worse because the reason any given person consider something better or worse are varied and many of those reasons are bad for model to learn so i think there is a need of a research for properly evaluating the models just to compare two response from different model it is not enough or just thumbs up and thumbs down it is also not enough to evaluate the model's response because there are multiple factors which affect the response to be good or bad that's just my opinion maybe i'm wrong okay do let me know okay that's it for this video and if you want to explore this topic in more detail i have written a medium blog you can check out a uh, link is in the description i will see you in next week bye bye and be happy you're never alone with astrocode Astro code, the spark in your mind. Learn with the dreamers, leave doubts behind. Click explore, decode your road. You're never alone with Astro code.